Hi everyone, this is Maths for Uni. Today I'll be discussing part 2 of step 2, 2019, question 2. If you find this content helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing, as well as checking out both of our Udemy courses, of which the links are in the description. The question says, the real function g is defined for all t by g of t all cubed plus g of t is equal to t. Prove that g of 0 is equal to 0 and that g prime of t is strictly greater than 0 for all t. Then we're asked to evaluate the integral from 0 up to 2 of g of t dt. So I've just written down the relation that we have for the function g here, and this is not an explicit relation for g of t, but rather an implicit relation. As such, it's slightly harder to analyse, but we can still try and find some of its properties as we do in this question. We're asked to prove that g of 0 is equal to 0. So let's put in 0 for t and see what we get. We would have g of 0 cubed plus g of 0 is equal to 0. Hence, we factorise this and get g of 0 as a factor, and then g of 0 all squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Either this is 0 or this is 0. Because g is a real function, this implies that g of 0 is equal to 0, because the only value of g of 0 that solves this equation is plus or minus i, which are not real. Next, we want to show that g prime of t is positive for all t. So it would be helpful if we were to differentiate this relation here. If we apply d by dt to both sides and use the chain rule for the first term, then we get 3g prime of t, g of t, squared plus g prime of t is equal to the right hand side which is 1. Then we can factorize g prime of t out of the left hand side and we have 3g of t squared plus 1 and then this is equal to 1. Then we divide to get g prime of t is equal to 1 over 3g of t squared and then plus 1. Because we have a g of t all squared and g is real, this is strictly greater than 0 for all values of t. And so therefore, g prime of t is strictly positive for all values of t. Then we need to evaluate the integral from 0 up to 2 of g of t dt. Well, looking at the earlier part of the question that we discussed in a previous video, we should use that as a guiding hint. In particular, it tells us that the integral from 0 up to 2 of g of t dt plus the integral from 0 up to g of 2 and then g inverse of y dy is equal to 2 times g of 2. Hence, it will be helpful to first find the value of g of 2. Using the relation that defines g in the first place, we have that g of 2 all cubed plus g of 2 
is equal to 2. We can factorise this if we notice that g of 2 equals 1 is a solution because then we have 1 plus 1 equals 2. So g of 2 minus 1 will be a factor and then what remains by using inspection will be g of 2 all squared and then plus g of 2 to give us a minus g of 2 all squared plus g of 2 all squared because there are no g of 2 all squared terms in here and then we have a plus 2 and this is equal to 0. This gives us one possible solution as we noted a moment ago but are there any other solutions in here? Well, this is a quadratic in g of 2, and so if you wanted to solve this as being equal to 0, we can find how many solutions it has by using the discriminant. This is 1 squared, which is the middle coefficient squared, minus 4 times a 1 times a plus 2, and this is certainly negative because we have 1 minus 8. And so we get no solutions for this bracket. Therefore, the only possible solution is that g of 2 is equal to 1. Now that we've found g of 2, we need to see how we can perform this integral here because if you want to have a chance at calculating this, then we now know this over here, but we do not know this. In particular, we can write y equals g of t, so that indeed t is g inverse of y, as we did in part one of this question. And then what do we have? Well, g of t all cubed plus g of t equals t is the defining relation of g that we had at the beginning. And so we can substitute in the y for g of t and g inverse of y for t. And so we get y cubed plus y is equal to g inverse of y. This is quite helpful because it allows us to calculate this integral here by writing g inverse of y as y cubed plus y. So let's do that now. We have the integral from 0 up to g of 2. Well, g of 2 is 1. And then we have y cubed plus y. This is quite easy to integrate. And in particular, we will get a quarter y to the 4 plus a half y squared between 0 and 1. And this gives us a quarter plus a half, which is 3 quarters. So now we've calculated this integral here. And we know this here because g of 2 is 1. And so therefore, by rearranging, we can get the integral from 0 up to 2 of g of t is equal to, let's have a look, 2g of 2 over here is 2 times 1, so that's 2, and then we subtract the integral that is here, which we found a moment ago is 3 quarters. As a result, we get the final answer as 5 over 4, for this part of the question. Please be sure to check out the next part of the question in a following video. If you enjoyed this content, then please consider liking and subscribing, as well as checking out both of our Udemy courses, of which the links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.